Yo, what's up, everybody? Mark Spencer once again, back in the house. I just got to give you a modest opinion on uh, some of the news making rounds, you know, around the world. Uh, you know, a lot today I was just watching CNN, you know, um, down south, down in New York. There was uh, an emergency landing tonight. It looked like it was an engine problem. And uh, you know, it was pretty scary, you know, it's scary stuff, you know, these airlines. But it's like one in a billion, you know. In terms of anyone crashing, you know, and stuff like that, it's, you know, I've traveled all over the world in the past, you know, it's gotten pretty crazy. You know, I've heard some people recently, Jesse Ventura has been complaining, um, Alex Jones, I mean, you've heard of all of them, you see them on YouTube, you see them on the national television, and uh, they've been complaining, you know, you see the American people starting to complain. I don't like what they're doing. These body scanners are absolutely dangerous. Uh, um, you know, it, who knows how much radiation you're going to get out of those things. There's people that do business trips across the United States and they have to take the plane a lot. I mean, you have to go through that machine all the time. You know, it's, it's horrible. Uh, and I hope they get rid of those body machines, you know, those body scanners. This is horrible. You know, Michael Chertoff, I don't know where you came up with your invention here, but all I can tell you, you better get rid of it. It's just wrong. You guys are breaking every rule in the book. I know the Constitution. I know the Book of <laughs> Liberty, and I know the the Bill of Rights. And uh, I think they, I think they violated every right in the book. You know, I mean, just look at the way they searching people. I mean, they're touching people all over. It's just it's crazy. They're breaking every rule in the book. You know, I was watching Alex Jones recently, and he said it's a felony. I mean, you know, uh, they have some DA people are taking a look at it. You know, the district attorney's office, I think it's San Jose and San Francisco, are going to some of the airports, sending some of their deputies to see what's really going on. And I think they're going to stop for a while, but uh, it is hopefully they stop there doing what they're doing. You know, just use that machine that goes, do you, do you? and ask specific questions that's how you can tell if someone's suspicious you ask those special specific questions and use this device it goes zoo 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 as simple as that tsa you don't need to do what you're doing this is just wrong this is just wrong this is tyranny and it's it's horrible we don't need tyranny we need to be working together to try to make our airports safe our lives safe. We need to work together as a team. We don't need to be forcing people to do stuff that they don't want to do. You know, because I'm telling you right now, if they, they if they don't get their act together, this TSA in America, this is, could be the end of the aviation industry. I'm telling you, the train business, the car business are going to be back in business. But you know what? You know what's kind of tr tricky here? You know what's kind of fishy? This is a day before... The assassination of John F. Kennedy back in 1963. November 22nd, 1963. So it's actually 1963 back east. Well, back in time. Well, it's 2010, but this is the anniversary of the late John F. Kennedy, his assassination. Um, it's really sad, you know. To this day, we, we're still trying to figure out what actually happened. You know, recently I just took a look at uh, Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura, and he interviewed some people that actually saw what actually happened that day on Dealey Plaza. You know, and, uh, you know, I've talked about it recently in my world report, and I'm telling you, folks, there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world that, you know, we have no control over. Will we ever solve this mystery? I don't know. It's almost like Elvis, Madonna, actually Madonna, um, Nicole Ann Smith. Uh, I mean, they might even solve the Natalie Holloway situation. Hopefully they solve that. Because recently I was just checking on the news that they found a bone, uh, a jawbone somewhere out in Aruba. So hopefully they can solve this. I mean, Vanderslut's the only one that can solve it, really. Because, you know, this guy's a punk. You know, he thinks he can get away with murdering people. You know, he can do whatever he wants. You know, he got some looks and you know, all this other stuff. He got the money. His dad's a judge. You know, thinks he can get away with anything. That's what these people think. They thinking at a different level. And that's what's bad. 
but uh, you know, if if we're ever gonna you know get our lives back together again, folks, you know, we 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 gotta make things happen. It doesn't happen like that. You know, we gotta be honest with ourselves. You know, you know lots of things are happening around the world that I have no control over. Nobody does. Economics. I mean, you look at Ireland. They are very close to bankruptcy. Uh, I just recently I was checking out the internet and uh, and some um, CNBC, Bloomberg, that uh, it looks like they might get a bailout from the European Central Bank and IMF. But my word of advice to the Irish people is: don't take this bailout. You don't need it. Default. Go back to your currency, and you got to start all over again. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. But I think the Irish people can pull through this. It's been tough for them over the last hundred and something years, maybe two, three, two, three hundred years. It's always been tough for the people of Ireland. The Brits have always oppressed them. And this is their time to shine. Just like Greece, it's tough. It's going to be like that in Portugal and Spain. In the next few months, you're going to start to see these two countries really come close to defaulting. Or they'll go bankrupt, or they'll get bailed out, and then they'll have more debt on top of it. You know, the most important thing is they must stick together, man. The people must stay strong. You know, stay strong. Don't give up. Always believe you can make a difference for tomorrow. You know, if it's riding a bike, going to school, reading a book, going to work, even if there's one day of work, appreciate it. One loaf of bread, share it. It's the same thing with anything in life. They just got to be positive and understand you can make a difference. Every one of us. It's going to take a while. My prediction on all this economic mumbo jumbo, I think it's going to take about 10 years. I think from 2010 to 2020, you're going to start to see some crazy things happen. There's going to be rumors of war. They're going to try to send a plague out there to kill off 90% of the world's people. They'll try, but they won't be successful. I think the people are going to wake up soon. They're starting to see them, you know, I mean, with this airport business, the volcano eruptions in I Iceland recently, um, some protests you're starting to see in Europe, some protests you're starting to see in America, Mexico, all over the planet. In Africa, you're starting to see them, you know, rise a little bit. I mean, all over the world, you're going to start to see a lot of protesting. You're going to start to see a lot of people getting mad. They're losing everything. They're losing their benefits. They're losing their pay. They're losing their retirement. They're losing everything. You know, I've heard it all. I've seen it all. And the only thing I can say to the people, don't give up, folks. I know Christmas is coming around the corner. It's important. But maybe nowadays, more than ever before, we can't be Scrooge. we got to unite. We must enjoy what you have because you might never know what you're going to have tomorrow just enjoy what you got be honest with yourself and remember it's only you that can make that decision good night